Yeah. Raising the Tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. We are probably what? Less than a mile from your apartment. Yeah, definitely. Way less than a mile. Bop and grill for a kimchi burger. I don't know last time, if ever. I've ever had kimchi before. I think it's like a spicy cabbage. Seen insane photos of this place. This place has been on so many different food shows. Revered. We're finally getting it. I'm very excited. Me too. You guys hungry? Local review? Chicago, Illinois? Let's do it. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it play? On a plane? How to play? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it play? On a plane? How to play? I'm just playing. Uh, I'll be my Joby, feel like Obi Wan Kenobi, cause I'm a star and they can't hold me like I'm Kobe in the fourth. Yeah, nothing is ever forced. We headed straight to the source. No middleman, little man. Let me show you if you was lost. It's a couple college courses, but I ain't finished that shit. All right. Hey guys, we got two kimchi burgers from Bop and Grill. Let's do it. Acquired jump cut. All right, guys, local Chicago review. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, I like their uh, burger receptacle. Very pleasurable to look at. Open it up. Whoa, that's a good looking bun. Pop that open, see what we got. There's the, uh, oh, looks like they might be cooking their bun a little bit or throwing it on the flat iron, which oh, I like. Oh, for sure. Um, egg looking d uh, deliciously fried up under the egg. We've got a lot of really cheesy looking cheese, bacon. This looks like that's been flat grilled. You can tell by these little like, whatever that is, the cheese looks like it's been grilled up a little bit, which yeah, I love. Yeah. And then the burger's hidden under their deep, I think there's some sauce on there. We're, rumor has that there's some cabbage, some kimchi cabbage or something on here. Maybe that's under, maybe that's mixed in with that sauce. Yeah, maybe it's mixed in or something. I don't know, but it looks amazing. It looks really, really good. Anytime I see that fried up cheese, I get yeah, excited. Dude, me too, big fan. And just so you can see it on the big camera, because we bought it, we might as well use it. Yep. Look at that, dude. That looks Ooh. pretty fantastic. 12 bucks a burger, so like we've said in all these Chicago local reviews, that's a good price yeah. for a local Chicago burger, especially yep. one that looks this good. Kimchi burger, bop and grill, finally doing it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, that's got a very unique and delicious taste. Good mouthfeel on that bite. Mm-hmm. A little bit of kick in there. Wow, dude. I can tell, like, what's on my finger, what's kind of right here, that's that, like, spiciness on the cabbage. You can kind of mm. see it. That is a really unique, good flavor. I love this cheese. Yeah, dude, that cheese is stealing the show for me. The way it's fried up on there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Melted to perfection. Yeah. Guys, this isn't even fair. This is a real fat person thing for me to say. Yeah. But if I make grilled cheese, Mm -hmm. and that cheese will drip off. Yeah. And it'll fall onto the grill and turn into like this fried up cheese. Yeah. I'll just be eating that oh, all day. It's you're doing like it the right it. way. If that's fat, then consider me fat bastard, dude. Mm -hmm. Sexy mom, sexy mom. Oh my God, this is great. It's very tasty. I like egg on a burger. It worries me when people don't. Mm hmm. My favorite version of bird is um, unborn and cooked. Me too. Or a cardinal. <laughs> That bacon right there is really good too. That is crisped up really, really nice. I can't just stop showing you guys this burger. I really want you to have some of it. Then there would be less for me, so never mind. Cobbs are the enemy. Oh. Yeah, that's very good. Is this one of the best burgers in Chicago? I mean, you'd have to define the parameters. As a nerdy engineer who never wants to be wrong, mm -hmm. well, what's the parameters? I guess one I of the said. best. Does that mean top three, top five, top ten? Is this one of the top five best burgers that you've had in Chicago? Top five would be a struggle. I think I could say pretty well that it's in the top 10. Okay. Top five, I might be able to find five better ones. Okay. This is still very good, but it also might be in the top five, but it'd be like top three, probably not. Okay. But it could be four, five, six, maybe seven. I have to put a little more thought into it. Um, one of the most beautiful things yeah. about you is the detail that you take, that words come out of my dumb mouth, how you receive them, and how you come up with a response. It's truly amazing. But yeah, it's also sad. <laughs> Anybody I like it. climbed into my brain, it'd be very confusing. This is why having a show with you is a gas. <laughs> Don't speak. For some moments in life, there are no words. Man, this is so good. I like to try some of the other ones because the kimchi's not bad, but I don't like the texture of it. Yeah, cabbage is not like the best texture in the world. Mm -mm. The flavor's not bothering me, but I'm interested to see. It looked like they had at least two other kind of like what I would call maybe their signature type burgers. I popped mm -hmm. up on the menu when I went on it. Yeah. 
That'd be interesting to see what those are all about. And I bet you I'll be going to this place again now that I know they got such dope burgers. I know. I'll have to show this to Kylie. Excited to hit up some of the other things on that menu. Maybe off camera. Wow, that is really tasty. Mm, 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 mm. My favorite part about this burger, this flavor is very unique. Like I feel like even the best burgers a lot of times it's like, yeah, it tastes like a hamburger. Yeah. This is just something a little bit different that I've never really tasted on a burger before. I agree. It's fun trying these new things. Like, this is just right around the corner, but this tastes unlike anything I've had on a burger. Yeah. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. No, it kind of like somewhat reminds me of when we got that uh, General Sow's chicken sandwich. Where it's yeah, like, this dude. is so unique and different. It's not like any other chicken sandwich. Like, that's kind of how this burger's like, this is a different burger. Right. I saw on the window, Food Network. They've been featured on the Food Network. Yeah. I see why. I do too. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Chicago's best. I mean, all of it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of cabbage going on. A lot of cabbage going on. No, yeah. it's okay. Dude, I was uh, just got back from Tucson. You know, I had some of the best Mexican food. It was like eating Mexican food there. There was just some spin on it. Like, I'm not normally a big chicken mole what's guy. What's that mean? Mole is like a, a brown sauce. Like, I have no idea what's in it. Okay. And they had a place that we went to. Some of like the best type of chicken I've ever had. No way. It was like they had a thing on the menu where you just ordered a, a plato, a plate of whatever they wanted to give. You. Three oh, different things. Oh, I love places to do that. So we went around the table. Everyone was like, "Yeah, yeah, just, I trust you." Yep. It was so good, dude. We got some of the sickest drone footage of my life mm. in that state. And for the nerds Hell that yeah. we love cinematography on this channel, obviously we could just do food reviews and not show you the city. But we yep. love showing you the city, dude. Some of this stuff, I could not believe the colors I was seeing out of <laughs> out of Arizona. So this is just overall great video, great burger, great food, great cinematography. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. That was worth twelve bucks, dude. Oh yeah, definitely. A lot of people don't like spending more than $3 on a burger. Well, okay, well you're missing out then because huh, get out of the McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> All right guys, before we go ahead and rate the kimchi burger, let's do a shout out. Merch out, a merch out, a merch out. Oh boy, we got some awesome stuff in our little merch catalog. If you go on number 6 with cheese.com, you'll see it. We've got the hot sauce, obviously, Sixer sauce. A ton of people have been buying that. All our shirts are still on there. Check it out when you get a chance. And if you buy anything, we give a shout out. If you buy more than one thing, you get up in that foot club and we'll skip the line for your shout out. First up program. Face check. Still ugly. Hard to look at. Looked like a open butthole. <laughs> You're ugly. Merch shout out number one goes to Miss Allison Welby. <laughs> Sister to our manager Patrick. And just from what I hear, an overall great person. I haven't met her, I'm not gonna pass any judgments yet. Uh, she needs to earn it. I met her fiance, he was a delight. Uh, I haven't met any of them, don't respect them yet. I like that you wait, you're not just gonna jump the gun. Uh, Allison Welby bought a Sixer Sauce bottle and a jump cut shirt. So, oh, nice. Allie Welbs, thank you. And merch shout out number two goes to a good friend of the show, Mr. Christopher Protein. Awesome dude I was in the military with. They've been supporting, him and his uh, boyfriend have been supporting the channel for a long time, whether it's Patreon or buying merch. They're always helping us out, and they got uh, three bottles of hot sauce. I should text him and see if he liked that. I bet he did. Protein's one of my absolute favorite human beings in the world. I got to meet him last year at your apartment. Oh yeah, that's so awesome. He's Great such guy. a good dude. He was just trying to buy all the shirts out of the storage. <laughs> yeah. He's like, can I buy them all? <laughs> He's so nice. Number six with cheese.com. Get yourself some stuff. You know the drill. All right, time to rate. Kimchi Burger, Bop and Grill, Belmont Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Out of five. Yeah. Could be Lil' Kim. Little Kim the queen bee, so you best take heed. Out of five, PNG cutouts of Lil' Kim. How many PNG cutouts of Lil' Kim do you give the Kimchi Burger, Bop and Grill, Corey? Oh man, that was really good. Uh, the flavor was excellent. That way that cheese was like, it's gotta be some sort of flat iron that they're cooking on and just pounding that thing down, man. It was freaking delicious. Delicious. I don't know. I love the egg on the burger. I'm gonna, I'm only, this is gonna be a weird one where I feel like usually I'd give that a five. I'm gonna take points off because I think that there's gonna be something on their menu that I'm gonna like better. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of room of growth for growth just because I'm not a big, I don't like uh, eating weeds. It tastes like I'm eating uh, weeds when I'm eating. <laughs> Like the consistency of kimchi, yeah. I guess I just don't care for it, but I like the spice and everything to it. But I think I'm gonna like something a little better, so I'm still gonna give that an incredible 4.95. Oh, dude, pretty much, pretty much identical feedback for me. Yeah. I think that the like squeakiness of the 
cabbage a little bit on the bite took away from the the flavor of it. You know what I like to do? You know how like you can take onions and kind of make onion crisps with them? Yeah, yeah. What if you could like fry up a little bit the kimchi Ooh, so it's yeah. more of a crunch yeah. than it is kind of a like coleslaw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that possible? Obviously Bop and Grill would know. I'm also a moron. Yeah, so, we're too like, dummy. So many people obviously like cabbage. Like don't listen to us. If you look at the about <laughs> section of this channel, by no means are we culinary experts at all. No. We just like food and hanging out. Dumb so idiot. If you can find a way to fry up kimchi like onion rings. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 4.95 is a great thing. I'm going 4.95. I was originally gonna go 4.75, and I don't think it's fair to take off a, a quarter of a point. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. I'm not giving my opinion. Oh god. 0.05 is fine. Yeah, because that was a freaking really good burger. Yeah, I like that review a lot. That is a must get if you're on Belmont and you have $12 and you're hungry. Yeah. Guys, that's another one. Uh, tomorrow, we're headed to Papa John's. We're gonna try those new jalapeno popper wheels or whatever the hell they are. See if those are any good. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for rocking with us five days a week for three plus years. The only food reviewers, by the way, on YouTube that have posted every single weekday for three years. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's really incredible. Never missed an upload, dude. Wow, dude, sick. And jerking ourselves off. Yeah, dude. Um, anyways. Suck my <laughs> <in> <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. We love you. <laughs> whatever, it's over. Would you like some chicken? I've got more.